It's time for class, Duck. Yeah, probably all right. We're talking about it. Shh. Well, I missed it. They're walking off to class. Oh, I can't believe I sat through Keith's jerkiness, out of style footwear, and what Lisa dreamed about. And I still didn't get. Oh, hold, hold on, I, I think I got something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're talking about it. It's, uh, it's at the, um... No. Don't tell me. I don't want to hear anything that's going to tempt me away from the new, helpful, not getting in trouble me. Right there. Right. You found out where the party is? Promise me you won't tell anyone where it is, especially me. Take it, read it, and destroy it. <laughs> My lips are sealed. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Say, that feels kind of good. Off to help others! <laughs> Becca's reputation? A parent's dream. I mean, she is the only kid in the world who played the let's be quiet game competitively. I mean, like, to win. I wish she'd just loosen up. And, uh, I guess she is. It's just that junior high guys are so... junior, you know? <laughs> yeah, um... Oh, I... And since I actually know people, I can introduce you around sort of set you up for next year. Um, I guess I'll spend Saturday afternoon by myself, alone, while everyone else is off having fun. Promise you won't breathe a word? <sighs> to an informal afternoon mud affair. Hi, Maxine. Becca, Uncle Rick just called. He's going out of town Saturday, and I told him you can't sit for him. Uh, I can't. You won't? I just can't, okay? <sighs> well, that's not like you. Mom, can't you make Ellen do it? Oh. Uh-uh. You know it's Ryan and my six-month anniversary that day, and we're doing something special. Well, one of you needs to help your uncle out, and I'll leave it to the two of you to resolve this. And with no door slamming, please. Look, Becca, you picked the wrong weekend to get a social life, so whatever you have planned, forget it, because Saturday, you have a date with the hairball. It started with you, didn't it? I... You blabbed the mud size location to the whole eighth grade, didn't you? Maybe if I get over there and deal with the cat at my uncle's place fast, we can still make it. It wasn't blabbing. It was more like sharing. Who told you? She did. You? Little Miss CPR? You leaked the mudslide location? Oh, what? I, I didn't. Well, I hope you're happy. Wh why? There will be no eighth graders at our party. It's all canceled. Wrecked. No mudslide. Our reputations are ruined. All thanks to you and your big mouth. Dad wants his umbrella back. Hi. Permission to speak to your brother? He's technically not allowed visitors after 4 p.m. Why are you watering the flowers in the rain? I'm not watering them. Dad told me to mist them. It wasn't raining then, but I'm not taking any chances, so... How you doing? Aside from wrecking the biggest social event of the year, and uh, making my reputation hard to believe even worse, I'm doing great. Well then, madame, I guess I should invite you to our club. Let's screw up. Please accept our complimentary begonias. No? <laughs> 
Don't cheer me up. I deserve to feel miserable. Well, what's your plan? What do you mean? Well, half the joy of being a screw-up is finding ways to unscrew up. <laughs> no chance. What am I supposed to do? Find them a new location that just happens to have a hill and a garden hose and... No one else around? <laughs> Tucker, it's perfect for a mudslide. A hose, a hill, no uncles around, and all I have to do is feed the cat. Ryan? It's perfect for an anniversary. Satellite TV, fireplace, no uncles around. And all we have to do is watch the cat. Yeah? Okay, great. So, well, once they let me actually talk, <laughs> they went for it. I got to thinking. The welfare of a small, helpless kitty is much more important than some anniversary. So, um, where was that key again? Mom? Hmm? Um, turns out everything worked out for Saturday. I'm happy to feed Uncle Rick's cat. Where's the key again? Hey, uh, what are you doing? Tucker's oil stain removal. Fast friendly service. Rain or shine! Look, I know you can't have any visitors or anything, right? But I just had to make sure. Is it true Becca's hosting the mudslide? Yeah. I mean, it is the party of the millennium. And I can't even go past the curb. I just can't believe it. I mean, Becca? A closet rebel? Tell me about it. I gave Becca a few tips, right? But this uncle idea is truly impressive. She's a prodigy. Hey. Heard what happened, man. Rough. Ryan, if you break me out, there's a used toothbrush in it for you. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be going to Ellen's uncle's all afternoon. Satellite TV, picture in picture, and a freezer full of pizza. Now that is living. What about me? And that's dating. They're going, going to Becca's uncle's house. house. I've never been to a ninth grade party before. <laughs> I've never hosted one. <laughs> Okay, Lisa's announcing the location now, so people should show up. Oh, party's in the back. <laughs> Beck is new at this being sneaky thing, so we have to do something. The only thing is, if I get caught outside the house, Mom and Dad are gonna kill me. Yeah, or worse. You gotta warn her, man. You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> where, where, where is it? 